Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell G715 laptop. The exact model is a 7588 and the regulatory model for this one is a P72F002. That information can be found on the bottom sticker or inside the BIOS information. And in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can replace the RAM or upgrade the RAM even if you remove it. And uh, you can upgrade this RAM up to 32 gig RAM if you want to but the good sweet spot is a 16 gig is an 8 times 8 so 16 gig should be very fair for any games or anything else you want to do. So by upgrading the RAM you're not going to modify anything in the system or any windows it's just pretty much plug and play. I'm going to go over how to replace them a little bit of tips and tricks how to uh, get it working and if sometimes it happens when you put the RAM in the power on turns on but there's nothing on the screen I'll tell you how to fix that in case you get you face those problems. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop. You want to face it upside down. Grab yourself a Phillips number one. I'll be using I fix the screwdriver set, Phillips number one. And we are going to remove the single screw. Actually, not remove it, I'll say loosen up because this screw has a little C lock on the other end. So all you need to do is to twist it. And then you're going to see a separation on the cover right there. Then what you want to do, you just want to put your fingers right underneath and yank it gently upward. Bring it up and then slide it towards the back. There's a the bottom cover. And right away you can see the RAMs and the battery, CMOS battery, everything right here. Now you might only have one RAM, so people always say you have to disconnect the battery uh, to do the RAM upgrade. Absolutely not. You do not need to remove the RAM or disconnect, I mean, remove the battery or disconnect the battery to do RAM upgrade. Is absolutely not necessary. Now, to remove the RAM is really simple. All you need to do is to put your fingers on these side triggers right in here, one there and one there. You want to push them away from each other. And you can use a little screwdriver to push them, and then the RAM should come out, pop out in a 45 degree angle, just like that. Okay, you can see the RAM comes out. So, what you want to do, you want to grab it in 45 degree and you want to pull it backward. Don't yank it up towards the ceiling, pull it backward, and the RAM will come out. These are a 8 gig DDR4 RAM, so you can get a 16 gig and 16 gig to get a 32 gig, but 8 and 8 is fine. Once you get a new RAM, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the dim, right there. It's focusing on my finger, right there. So if I try to put this one the other way around, it will simply not go through. Okay, and actually this is the correct way. So if I put it this way, it's not gonna go through because the notch don't match. So you wanna bring it down in 45 degree angle all the way inside the jack. And then you wanna squeeze it in there and then you just simply wanna push it towards the motherboard and you're gonna hit these two triggers open and close. Same thing in here. If you have big fingers like me, use a plastic rod, not a metallic screwdriver, but if you be careful, nothing's going to happen. And then pull it back in the same direction. Yeah, another 8 gig, so you can upgrade it with a 16 gig if you want to. So push it towards the motherboard. So there's a scenario when you put, you have an 8 gig and you put another 8 gig or something like that, and you power one, it doesn't turn on, don't worry about it. All you need to do is to power it off. You don't need to put the cover on to turn it on. So put the power it off, remove the RAM, remove both of the RAM. Once you remove both of the RAM, power it on. And obviously it's not gonna give you anything on the screen. Wait five to 10 seconds and then power it off. And the new RAM, put it on the swipe the RAM space places. So put this one and the other one, the old one on the other side. So this way you can force the motherboard to do a MEM check or RAM check. So, and in the other case, if that doesn't work, simply disconnect the BIOS battery from here, pull it up, and put the RAMs in, power it on, and it will force it to do RAM check. And then you can power it off after once you get the logo and plug in the BIOS battery. You just pull up and push down. And that way you can force the motherboard to do the MEM check. Once you're done with this upgrade, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, make sure the bottom front end of the Cover goes in 45 degree right under the laptop right there. And then you want to squeeze the corners. You want to hear those click sounds. And the, the back one right here, just put the screw, tighten it up, and you're ready to go. If you see any opening, just push it down, and that should power it up. 
And again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you want to support the channel, you can click that like us, uh, subscribe. I'll really appreciate it. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.